Carl, um, it was entertaining. You came from behind twice. Um, I think a few players, few few good players stood up tonight as well. How did you see? Yeah, look, I, I you know, the performance tonight was um, good. I, I think the endeavour from the players was excellent as well. Um, especially in the manner that, you know, we conceded the goals, especially that second one early in the second half. Um, you know, the boys' response after that was um, first class. Um, and they did everything, um, you know, that we wanted in the second half tonight, but um, get those extra couple of goals to get us the win. So now there's a game on Monday, then you play again um, Saturday against Sydney, and MacArthur are playing tomorrow night. Obviously, the focus now is directly goes to Monday at home. Mm. What, what do you need to do to, to get it? I mean, you've got the yips, so to speak, um, lately. What do you yeah, need look to get at that win? It's, um, you know, you look at tonight, you know, Wellington are top of the table and they have that belief and they just um, worked extremely hard tonight. Um, and, you know, the teams that are, you know, struggling for wins at times, you know, they just lack that little bit of confidence and that little bit of belief, um, you know, but credit to our boys tonight, they they fought extremely hard and, and you know, especially in that second half, um, you know, we did everything right except for, um, as I said, score goals. Just Nestory coming back into the... Starting 11, um, in hindsight, in my opinion, I think what you did was correct because I think I saw him step up again. How did, is that done purposely the last couple of weeks? From yeah, opinion? as I said, all, all from the beginning with all our young players, it's about um, developing them, about um, getting them to understand what it, what it requires to play at the, you know, the highest level. Um, and we've been working not just with Nestor, all our young, young players and... It's about them understanding what they they need to do and and what um, brings them success. Um, as you said, um, Nesta, you know we weren't happy with some of the things he, w he was doing, um, so he had a little bit of a spell. And I, I thought his response tonight was was outstanding. He was um, the most dangerous player on the pitch by a long way. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy for him tonight. So not happened what he was doing, just on the pitch or off the pitch? Or is it a combination? Oh, look, it's a, you know, Nesta is still learning. <laughs> we still got to remember his age and he's still um, learning what ne what works for him both on and off the pitch. Um, as you say, you know, to be a professional um, elite footballer, um, a lot has to do with what you do away from, from training and, and away from games, you know, the way that you prepare yourself the way that you sleep, the way that you eat, um, that all comes into a lot of focus. Um, and he's still, he's still learning that, you know, you, don't, you can't expect a 17, 18 year old kid to know what to do um, with his own um, body. He's still working that out. So um, um, we keep working with him. Um, you know, we're very fortunate um, that we've still got him for the rest of the season. Um, and, you know, he's exciting. He, he makes everyone smile, doesn't he? And, and Deli off. Two years out of the limelight, how did you see his performance? Yeah, yeah, um, Delhi was good tonight. Um, you know, he couldn't really much for the goals. Um, but, you know, he, he'll grow with confidence with that. You know, as I said, um, was it two, two years and three or four days, you know, that he was our number one. And, you know, so, um, you know, he, he'll keep, he'll build from tonight, you know, not to play football for two years. It's a, it's a, a tough thing, um, but he, he's come in and, and he's done exceptionally well tonight, I, I thought. Obviously, you talked about an S3, but what about at the other end of the scale, the, some of the older players tonight? You say it's almost uh, round back the clock. Hiroshi, I think the broadcast gave him, you know, best on ground and popped up with a couple of goals. Mm. He hit the post late. Um, Ben's impact off the bench, he rolled the crossbar as well. How important is that blend of... Yeah, it's important that everyone and contributes. Um, you know, that's the side that we are at the moment. Now we need all players to contribute and play near their level for us to have success. Um, you know, I've said that to the playing group many a time. We need everyone to, to work hard and, and, you know, do what we um, expect from them. Um, and when we do that and, and have that response from, as you said, Hiroshi, I thought was outstanding tonight. Um, Issa, Tunners in the middle were, were very good. Popper at the back, you know, was strong as well. And, you know, Ben Halloran, when he came on, it, you know, provided a great spark for us. But that's, you know, they're the, what we expect from our senior players. Um, and it's important that they, um, you know, maintain that standard and drive the standard of the younger players to, to be higher as well.
Can you just talk us through the uh, substitutions at half time, the double change with um, Ben Wallen and Ben Halloran coming on? Yeah, look, Nick Cancel um, was 50 50 coming into the game. Um, so he, um, you know, as the game went on, he, he just couldn't um, um, keep going. Um, so he had to come off. And, you know, we just have to hope that the injury settles down and is available for Monday night. And, you know, Luca, um, it was, that was more of a tactical change. He just wasn't um, working what we wanted to do. You know, the first half, we just couldn't get the pressure on what we wanted and, and how we wanted to press in the first half. And we made those adjustments at half time and, and we were much better in the second half. Your thoughts on the red card? Look, it's, you know, <laughs> um, you know, maybe um, Benny should have got there a little bit earlier, but, uh, you know, there's contact. You know, was the ball still in the stadium when he, when they made contact? I don't know. There was a large number of fans out there tonight. Do you have anything to say to them? Yeah, I think, you know, it's a credit to, our, to the Adelaide fans that have come out all season and supported us. Um, and, you know, tonight they've got a really entertaining game. I, I don't think anyone would walk away from tonight's game thinking uh, that disappointed. They'd be disappointed that we didn't get the three points, but they'd be um, very happy that they got to see two good football insides having a, a, a good go at each other to try and, try and win a game of football. As you mentioned, top of the table, you walk away with a point. Would you have taken that if someone had offered that to you at the start of the game? No, not really. Not at home. Um, we always want three points at home. Um, and, you know, I think um, we were good enough for the three points tonight.